Everyone, it's me, G Dogface. I'm not talking in real time on the video. I'm talking right now because I recorded this separately from what me talking. But why does that matter? I'm gonna be reviewing Call of Duty for Modern Warfare on the DS. That's right. And we have single player, multiplayer, options, and credits. And uh, the name. Now, Call of Duty for Modern Warfare released back in 2007 for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, and the Nintendo DS. I don't play it on any other things except for Nintendo DS. I buy it just for collector's item and playing it for fun. Campaign and quick play. We have campaign and quick play. Campaign is where you just continue off where you started in the campaign. Quick play is where... uh. You start a whole new game in a whole new slot if you finish the original campaign. And also, yeah. So I'm going to tell you the downsides on this game. Uh, so the downsides is you can't do multiplayer anymore. Multiplayer doesn't work on this game anymore. It still supports online. It's just no one plays it online anymore. And in case you guys get bored, I'm just going to show you just gameplay of the campaign. Because that's all you can get to play in the game. So, the gameplay is interesting. Of course, you move around with the arrows. To look around, you use the style, stylus, if that's what you call it, the pencil. I forgot what it's called, sorry. But you use that to um, look around. And... Basically, your screen, the top of your screen is telling, is uh, the gameplay. The bottom of your screen is the map, and basically everything you need to know. And also, uh, the way to switch your gun is to drag and switch, and you grenade by pressing anything. The campaign is fun. I just haven't got that deep into it yet. But uh it's sort of difficult when you get used and when you get used to it, it gets easy. Now the graphics. The graphics are using Nintendo's 3D graphics animations, which you can tell right away from a far distance it looks good, but when you're up close to it, it looks very garbage. Now I get it. This is a DS game that released in 2007, so they were rusty. Well, I mean, like, let's not talk about Super Mario 
64 on the DS. I mean, like, that had better quality, didn't it? Because it was released a, a years before Modern Warfare, and it did better gameplay quality. Alright. You can't... I did normal difficulty. You can do easy and hard and normal. Uh... The story. I don't really have got that deep into the game than I expected. Because this is just the second mission I'm showing right now. I haven't gotten deep into the game. I mean, like, it's fun, but it seems too easy at the same time. I mean, I mean like, I die. It's, like, difficult and easy at the same time. It's interesting. The guns, they're good. It's for some reason, this time I was playing, it took all 30 shots to kill a person without any armor. Uh, oh yeah, Paul didn't have armor. Now, it releasing on the DS, and I find a lot of people saying, oh, it released on the DS. But, if I was a Call of Duty fan back in the day, and I really just wanted to play it portable, I probably would have jumped on this. And be disappointed. I'm not saying don't play it. I'm just saying it's sort of bland. The textures are flat. The gun models are are beautiful when you aim. The voice lines. So, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, uh, are gonna be like, what? You mean the game is fun? Or like, yeah, the game is horrible. And this is a worldwide thing now before you guys are like how you know you can't play multiplayer anymore you haven't checked uh before i did this video i went back online and connected myself to the internet or something on the ds and waited for about 10 minutes and no and i haven't connected to anyone the game it, it, okay here's the other this is not downsize this is something that actually is good you can play together couch co-op. So multiplayer isn't where you really think it is. It's not like you're playing with millions of people around the world. It's more of a four versus four. It's like a four free-for-all game where four players are fighting each other. But uh, it was fun playing it with... So you can, like, if you if you or your brother or sister have a DS as well, then you could probably connect yourselves to the internet and play. The campaign, I'm assuming it's something of the Russians taking over something or saying a controversial thing, and you're an American special force having to take them down or something. I, I don't know the game, the campaign, the gameplay. I forgot to talk about that again. So what is cool is... You can actually disarm a bomb by having to drag your uh, stylus to the wires to disarm it. And a puzzle of opening safes like this right here, what I'm showing right now. You can open a safe or hack it by doing like a puzzle. It's interesting. I actually thought I could get shot still when I'm doing it. I've been practicing doing it quickly, but I still did it slow. This game... You could probably... I'm assuming that this game is a... The campaign is a two-hour long campaign. Not that big. Sort of a challenge. A lot of elements added. And, and different ways of fighting. It's fun. I like the game. It's actually very good. And if you guys are just looking forward... If you guys are bored of Call of Duty and want to play on a portable device... I'll take... I'll give this a sh I'll give this a shot. If I was you, you could probably buy it and try it out. And if you don't like it, it's whatever. But and I thought it was cool to play it on the DS. And I've been playing it for a week straight when I first got it. Well, I did get something else. But still, it's a good game. It's fun. It's not where you're going to expect it to be. Like how Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's Warzone, or just Modern Warfare. It's not going to be like... It's its own charm. It has its own charm. It has its own style. It has its own graphics. It has its own story. And it has its own plot twist. And if you get bored of Call of Duty easily, 
with the same multiplayer and same campaign. This one is different. The campaign's different. You can do different stuff. So, yeah. You have to disarm missiles and stuff on this mission. Oop. Spoiler, but the game is good. It's fun. I don't care how if it's bad or not. Yeah, if you just if you have fun, it's fun. If if you get bothered by if it gra graphics are horrible and the gameplay is horrible, then uh, try something else. But if you're just bored of Call of Duty and want to try something different, now give this game a shot. More reviews are coming, and if you guys want me to do more game intros like the one I did on this video, uh, if you guys wanted to, if if the video gets a lot of likes. So, if you like this a lot, give me likes, like the intro of the video. Give me likes if you like it, alright? So, then I'll do more. Well, anyways, that's all for uh, this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And have a dope day. And hopefully this came out good. Bye!